I thought our tempo was better. I think our focus was a little better too. But we hit a little bit of a mental wall yesterday and I think we were better today just uh, fighting through that. Honestly, a little surprised Sean Payton was happier with today's practice than yesterday because the offense struggled. But what he pointed to, that energy being there, mental was there, the tempo was there. The offensive protection was not really there in today's practice. 13th day of training camp here. I mean, the very first play of practice, Jonathan Cooper would have just destroyed Bo Nix in the backfield. Second play, I think he would have done the exact same thing. And third play, I think it was the entire defensive line that would have eaten Bo Nix alive in the backfield. A tough day for all three quarterbacks when it came to everyone around them, really. I mean, there were a lot of drop passes from all by all of the quarterbacks, receivers. And then also the offensive line protection was was not there. It was a pressure day today, so maybe not a big reason to freak out, but the way practice ended, 51 seconds left, ball on the offense's 37 yard line, so 37 yards to go. Offense is down 20 to 26. Like I said, 51 seconds left. Offense and defense each had one timeout, and let's start with Bo Nix because he was the first one up. He's driving down the field, and then his drive stalls and the Broncos make it to the 13 yard line, but don't make it into the end zone. So Bo and his team did not win the day. And maybe one of the things that Bo needs to do a little bit more is push the ball downfield more. I think the longest pass we've seen Bo complete in a team period in training camp is 20, 25 yards, but I understand why he's not pushing the ball downfield. He's in a quarterback competition right now. He doesn't want to make big mistakes, trying to make uh, aggressive throws down the field. Bo talked about how he handles that dynamic of making good decisions, good plays, while also trying to be aggressive. Hit them when they're open and make sure you get the right coverage for them. And usually sometimes uh, the forcing comes when you don't get the right look, things like that. So uh, just make sure you get the right look for them and, and um, the correct game plan play for the particular defense and if not just check it down and go to the next play. And third up today in the situation to end practice was Zach Wilson. Again 51 seconds left 37 yard line going in need a touchdown to win it. Third and 12 from the 23 yard line nine seconds left no timeout so pretty much got to take a shot to the end zone or a quick play out of bounds. Zach doesn't mess around. He takes shots to the end zone. He goes deep. That's one of the things he does, and we've seen in this training camp, and he does it to Troy Franklin in the corner of the end zone. A little bobble. Did his feet get in? After practice, Zach said, of course he got his feet in. Touchdown, baby. And uh, Zach finished practice great, but one of the things, it's pretty obvious that he's kind of fallen to third in line in this pre or in this training camp quarterback battle. Jared Stidham Bonix really seem to be competing for that one spot right now. Zach in number three, he was asked about that after practice, how he handles that. Yeah, obviously I don't have control over that situation, so you know, just going out here doing my best every day and enjoying playing football and uh, like I said, just trying to keep stacking good days. Jared Stidham, he also got a shot from this situation and he made it down. First and goal from the 10 yard line, 12 seconds left. Stidham's purely looking for the end zone now. He rifles one in the middle of the field, and boom, doink! It bounces off someone's head, face mask. I don't know if it was a receiver, there were so many people around. And what happens when that happens? Boom! The ball shoots up in the air. I mean, it felt like, if I was Jared Stidham, it would have felt like hours this ball was in the air. Comes right down into Lavelle. Bailey's arms, of course, inside linebacker. Get to know his name of standout of camp. Sean Payton actually very impressed with number 56, the rookie. So keep your eye on him. Anyways, he gets the interception. Game over. Jared Stidham loses. Bo Nix loses. Zach Wilson maybe actually wins in this one. But speaking of winning, Jared Stidham thinks he's winning this competition, or at least he's put himself in a really good spot. And he really has put him in itself in a really good spot. But here's what Jared Stidham had to say after practice. Yeah, I mean, I, I do. Um, I felt like, quite honestly, I had a, I had a great spring. Um, you know, second year in the system, I mean, like I said earlier, things just are coming more naturally to me and within the system and that sort of thing. And, um, you know, I feel like tra training camp so far has been really good. Just going back and forth every day, um, learning the guys. I mean, we, we've got some new guys here, but also there's a lot of us here that played together last year. So. Um, just to keep building relationships on and off the field, um, you know, it's been, I, I think we got, a, I said it a couple weeks ago, I think we got a, a really special group of guys um, that really genuinely care about each other. Um, and that's one of the things that I, I think makes us, you know, a, a really good team. And, um, you know, I haven't had that everywhere I've been before. So 
Um, that's, that's definitely one of the biggest things for sure.